Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Oh, hello and welcome to yet another video. And today's a special day for Davey. Whee! Davey's birthday, 72 today. Whee! We'll have a few beers later, I suppose, to, uh, to celebrate. Anyway, in today's very quick video, um, I'm going to show you how to drill um, accurate cross holes um, without the use of a milling machine. You just need a standard um, bench drill or pillar drill and um, uh, V-blocks or uh, a drill vise. So um, enough of this natter, let's go outside and show you it all in action. Catch you out at the drill. Bye! So here we are at my pillar drill and these are the components that you'll need to uh, to perform this operation. Uh, a pair of E-blocks, uh, preferably one with a clamp as well, and a setting device. Um, this is this is just like a, a, a 90 degree countersink but without the uh, but without the teeth on it. You, you, you need this for, for setting this up. You'll also need a, um, uh, a straight strip of some sort. Make sure it's, it, it's burr free and some clamps for uh, clamping it down. Now the first thing that you need to do um, is to ensure that you've got sufficient room between the chuck and the job that you can that you can actually get the drill in. I mean, I, I shan't be using this size drill, but I mean, but obviously make sure that when you've got the you've got it in there that you're going to be able to uh, you know get get your get your part underneath. Um, so the procedure for setting it up is is you, you you put you put this device up into the chuck. Oh, wrong way. Like that. Just lightly, you only need just a lightly, lightly nipping up because it's because it's because it's only a setting gauge. So what you need to do now is, and, and also bear in mind that, that before you actually set this, if you've got a long part, you can you can you can make sure that that, that you can adjust the strip at whatever angle it is so that your part doesn't actually bang on another machine or the wall or whatever. Anyway, the the procedure now is is uh, is um, make sure you're clean. You actually bring this down till it. And, and, and notice how that, that uh, you know it pulls itself into into centre. So I've now locked that down. Once you've decided if you if you're happy with that position for the um, for the strip, um, is that you is you need to uh, just to clamp it down because that's that's the uh, that's how this uh, system works. So we just put a clamp on that end and one on this end. Making sure that that's uh, you know you're, you're you're pinching this back to make sure that the that the strip is nice and uh, yeah right so that's the um, that's the setup procedure done <coughs> so oh, so we can take the uh, take the setting gauge out we won't need that anymore now. Um, the, the, the beauty of this is it doesn't it's it's not um, the accuracy of it doesn't 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 uh, doesn't change with diameter. So as as an instance, I mean, say I want to draw this is this piece of quarter rod, and the idea the idea of two blocks is is for support. Obviously, if you've got a got a, a long part, but uh, you could you can do this in several ways. I mean, so you, you 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 can either I'll tell you what, we we'll just pop a pop a drill, drill up in the. Uh, into the chuck. So you've got the option of, uh, if you want to, of uh, you know having the, having the part sticking out like that and actually drill your hole. Or of course, if it's further along, you can you can you can support it on on either side, and away you go. Now the other thing you need to do um, to stop the drill pulling the uh, bead block away from your reference edge is to uh, is to have another um, put a clamp another bar there so that this is this is you, they still slide it, it, it it's captive so I'll just demonstrate drilling a hole in here by all just uh, put a clamp on there that will that will just stop it rolling. Bear in mind if this is a piece of brass, I hope that you back the drill off beforehand to stop it uh, to stop it snatching. Um. 
Right, so here goes. Let's have a go at uh, drilling a crosshole then. <coughs> you're able to see that. Sorry, the fingers are going to be in the way, but anyway, I'm just I'm just holding the uh, just holding the V block down. Like a gentle, so that it doesn't tend to wander off centre. Can do it with a centre drill. I'll say six. This seems to be going all right. Be clearing the drill because it's it's clogging up the in uh, aluminium. So I don't know whether you get a get a, a view of that. There's the uh, there it was uh, drilled through, and in fact, and to prove the point that it's um it's uh yeah she, and she looks nice and central. Just to prove the point that um this setup works for any diameter. We'll just uh, drill a hole in this piece. in the middle to me. Let's uh, just take the drill out and poke it through as if it's a as if it's a pin and see and where we can get a an end shot of that. Be able to yeah, put it through a bit more so you can actually see see both bits. Yeah, it, uh, difficult trying to look at the viewfinder. Yeah, it looks like she's she's in centre. So I said the idea, the nice idea nice about this setup as I say it, it now doesn't matter whatever diameter you put in there it will always be on centre because the the the, the um, axis that the centre line of the drill shut by using this uh, setup device oh that's that's it lost on the floor um never to be found again oh yes it is off that Davy found it um you know that's 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 how it works you, you that's in there and it's got to be centre so um right let's uh that's the end of that little bit. I will now break this setup down and uh, and go into the uh, the other option. I'll catch you later. Bye. So here we are again. Uh, this is the second setup. Now this just uses a standard. Um, what's that? This isn't standard, but I mean, but you actually need a a, a drill vise, um, and it must be clamped down for this to work. Um, Unfortunately, the setup's got to be um, changed for whatever size piece of material you're doing. Um, ideally, it's, it's, it's nice and quick. So, um, what you really need is, is is an off cut of the of your uh, material as a setting gauge. So the idea is, I mean, I'm, I'm picking this on this piece of half inch. You just say so just just pop it in the just pop it in your drill chuck. Then what you need to do then is to um, lower it down over the uh, centre line of the uh, of your vice so that you don't uh, drill into it just lightly nip it up lock that down as well now you need to clamp this down for it, for it to work so we just shove that under there and ensure that, uh, that it's firmly locked Right, that's it. To, that's it set now for this particular diameter. So you now can take that out. You can put your part in. You can either rest it on the bottom, providing that your um, vice has got a, a, a gap in the bottom for the drill to go through. I mean, if, it, if it's to, if it's a plain bottom one, um, put a put a piece of um, sacrificial packet underneath. Um, you drop your part in. Just dip it up. Or stick a drill in. Tighten that up. Start her up. And away we go. We should bear in again, of course, this time. You know, so I've got not based in decent material. I've got wood coming. 
the out come through. There we are, undo it. There's our hole. Oh, I'll better show you with the drill sticking through it. Make that out. There we are, that's nicely on nicely on centre. Now as I say this this will only work for this particular size. So I mean if I if I picked another piece up, um, the hole wouldn't come in the centre. So uh, as a, a tip worth bearing in mind, I mean, say, say a pal says to you, "Oh, look, you know, I've got half a dozen of these shafts. Can you can you just drill it for a split beam?" Before you start, check each shaft to make sure that they're within ten tail of each other. I mean, there's no point. I mean, as, I mean, as an instance, I mean, this is this is a piece of half inch. If I set that up in half inch and then put put a piece of which is twelve point seven. Right. Sorry about that. The uh, the camera shut off because the. Um, memory card was full. Yes yeah, so I was saying um, this was set up for um, half inch 12.7 millimeters but say I was the next part I was to put in there was only uh, 12 millimeters um, that's 0.35 millimeters 14 thou um, off center so so if, if I'd have put the 12 mil in there and tried to drill it they say that the hole would have come 14 thou off center so as I said it, it shows you how, how um, uh, critically it is but as I say you know if, if providing that, that you know you've got an assortment to do and and, and I would consider it you know if, if the diameter is within 10 tower of each other well you know it's only going to be a, a 5 tower offset um, you know go for it to save to save keep changing it now of course the the, the um, other problem that that, uh, that you come up with with this um, system is that uh, I mean say you wanted to, to drill a um, you know, you, 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 you had a piece of uh, material that was two inches diameter. Well, obviously, you can't you can't get a piece of uh, two inch material in there to set the vice up. So, what you actually what you actually need to do is 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 to, is to make you up something something like this. This is this this is a piece. Of, uh, this isn't two inch, obviously, but I mean this is this is a piece of uh, I don't know about uh, one inch material, and I'll put a I don't know what's it a quarter inch hole in it for for, for, a, for a dowel pin or a screw or a piece of stock and in which case so if you wanted to wanted to do this you can just pop pop that in there and uh, you know obviously obviously set you know center the the chuck up on that so um, but as I say it's 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 a it's a quick get out well I mean if you if you if you don't possess a milling machine I mean it, it it's the only way that you can. Um, you know, get a get a decent job just 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 using a um, a drill vice and a, and a and a drilling machine. So um, I hope that's um, you know give you uh, a little insight into uh, a quick and easy method of uh, you know of, of turning out a decent job. I mean, you can still carry on if you want to. You know, the you, you know you see other people doing it. Uh, of of uh, you know, you put it in there and you and you and you balance a, a rule on top of the on, on top of the. Um, on top of the part, and then you and then you and then you slide the the um, the part uh, backwards and forwards until the rule comes level. But I mean that's that's a bit hairy fairy to me. Um, so you know, so if you want to turn out a decent job, um, you know, put a little bit of time in it. And of course, the idea of this, of course, is is that you know that once you've done it, you know, keep keep that in the box. You know, so okay, next time you want a bit of three quarter, you know, so so as time goes by, you'll you'll get quite a collection of these little. Um, little homemade washers uh, call it and, um, and and take it from there so um, I think we'll conclude this little um, demonstration here and we'll um, go in and um, conclude the video indoors I'll catch you soon bye so there we are then that's another um, quickie video uh, under the belt I um, hope you've learned something from from this um, exercise of mine um, as per usual thanks again for watching uh, please subscribe please ring the bell click the likes send me a uh, comment um, and until we meet again uh, where we are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you on the next one bye